European researchers are working on how to capture more of the sun's enormous power and turn it into electricity. It's reckoned that the equivalent of the world's entire daily energy consumption hits the Earth in the form of solar rays every 17 seconds. Photovoltaic cells use silicon crystals to convert sunlight into current, but existing technology is sadly inefficient, transforming only about 16% of solar energy into electricity. At Lausanne in Switzerland, physicist Sylvain Nicolet is working as part of a European research project on how to improve the performance of solar panels. He's using nanotechnology to alter the structure of the upper surface of the silicon cell, the side that faces the sun. He deposits nano-sized crystals of a so-called transparent conductive oxide onto it. Normal clear glass doesn't scatter light, but this nano-treated surface refracts the light at an angle from 15 to 30 degrees, marshalling far more of the solar energy into the business end of the cell. To make the light diffuse, the roughened layers have to be of a magnitude of just a few hundred nanometers. They test the scatter effect of the conductive oxide crystals on a huge light table. As the light rays are diffused, they take a longer path through the silicon cell and so generate more electrical current. Up until now, the researchers have managed to increase efficiency by 30% compared to the standard thin film solar cells. The research project is coordinated by the Fraunhofer Institute for Material and Beam Technology at Dresden in Germany. And scientists there are carrying out their own work on developing complementary processes. They hope to improve the crystalline silicon cell's energy even more by polishing the rear of the wafer and leaving it rough on the front. They burn a gas between two electrodes and when another reactive gas is added, a chemical reaction is triggered on the surface of the silicon. The nano-structured surface of the wafer is effectively ironed out to be mirror smooth. The flattening is just one aspect. Another is the generation of defined nanostructures that increase the scattering of light in the wafer. More light can be trapped, and that improves the solar cell's ability to harvest energy. A vast amount of available light escapes conventional solar cells. Some of it simply passes through. By roughening the front surface and polishing the rear, rays are not only scattered, but they also bounce back into the cell, so maximizing the light trapping potential. It's hoped the improved efficiency of these optimized nanostructures will translate into substantial gains for the consumer over a lifetime, compared to the returns from conventional, present-day photovoltaic solar panel technology. Researchers believe this new technology could throw a whole new light on a very bright future.